Hey guys, it's, uh, it's Richard again. I've got something to share with you today that's super, super exciting. I've been working so hard on this, but also let's get back to this. Okay, I have a, um, a salon owner that sort of says to me that they want to grow their salon. How do they do that? It all gets complicated. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you what I do uh, and what I can help you do as well and a very, very basic way of doing this. You'll be amazed at how easy this is. So at the bottom through here, you'll see I've got a few check stages through you. I'll talk this through you. This is an average salon that I've just picked up just at the top of my head. They take about 7,000 a week in takings. They do about 70 clients a week and an average spend of about 100. So that's very, very average. A lot of salons out there, they're doing up more and below, but that's a nice little average. You can probably understand a salon like this. Now, with a salon like this, let's just say from today, we had the power to put 15% upon everything. Now, I'm not talking pay rising or, or anything like that. I'm just going, we're going to increase more bums on seats. We're going to get more people out there to come to us. So, 15% increase. That means we're going to be doing 8,000 a week, which is a nice 1,000 extra a week. That's, that's like 50,000 a year. 80 clients we're looking for, and the average spend still the same. We haven't worked on the internal structure yet. We're just working on more clients. So all we need to do to achieve 15% increase is just 10 more clients. That is it. 10 clients. I'm going to actually put that in a nice bolder color because I cannot believe that's all it is. So if I found you 10 clients a week, because that's what it is, 10 clients a week, we'll give you that. How are you going to find these 10 clients? Well, it's like a snowball. It just builds up quite easily. It's not too uncommon to find 40 clients a month that are new to your salon, especially if you drive this salon, like you know how to control these people. So 10 new clients a week, okay, that's all we're looking for. We'll give you an extra 50,000 a year. No internal salon. Don't get your staff salon anymore just yet. We're just talking about doing that. The next stage after that, what happens if we decide we want to do another 15% increase? That's going to take us to 9,000. We just want another 10 more clients. So if you started this today and got yourself 10 clients a day, by the end of September or midway through September, you're going to be doing 8,000 a week. Now, if you don't stop there and you go, I'm going to push this a bit more, by the time we get to the end of December, you know, your big Christmas rush, you're now doing 9,000. Now, that's 100,000 more that you're going to be doing, 100,000 in a year. Now, we continue that, of course, again, again, another 10 clients. So these aren't too push. It is an average of 15% that's getting compounded through here. And if you can just see that by the end of March, you'll be doing 10,000. Now, that's going to be 150,000 more by you driving your business. Now, what's that worth to you? Like, even if you just get to this stage, that's 50,000 a year. What's that worth to you? Never mind 150,000. And of course, this time next year, you could possibly do an extra 200,000 on what you're doing now. But you have to drive this. It's not going to happen on its own. These 10 people that are hanging around at the moment, you know, where are these people? That's what you need to ask yourself. They're out there. They're looking for clients. You get new clients. Sorry, they're looking for salons. They're definitely out there. You just need to figure out how you can attract them. Well, I've talked about this over and over again, and I got bombarded with people saying, how can I do this? How can I do that? So I have created a course. It's a mini course. It's nothing that's committed. It's a seven-week course with seven modules built in. And each module is going to go through this. And I'll and start of uh, the 1st of September, the start of July. Sorry, yeah, the end of July, start of August. You can be implementing this in your salon week by week. Now, I have built this purposely to teach you. It's not to preach you. It's not to tell you what to do. You are going to build yourself an absolutely marketing power funnel house. You're going to have all the tools all done for you, step by step process. And you're going to build this that's so unique around your salon. This isn't about some template. This is going to be built around your clients and your salon, whatever level you're at now. This is going to be the course of the year. You will not want to miss this. I'm going to talk you through this course, but I'm going to talk it in a way how I want to teach you how to do it. So if you don't go on the course, at least you're going to learn by me doing this. So your ideal client, if you do not know your ideal client at the moment, you need to know. You need to know. When they leave another salon, where do they look for a new person? Because you want to show up. 
You want to know what makes them tick. You want to know what benefits makes trigger them to pick the phone up to call you. What's their biggest problem that you're going to try and fix for them? What do you want to be known for? Once you master that, and we'll teach you step by step, but if you can master that, and you know what clients you want to attract and which ones you don't, you can filter them through on your website and everything else that people come to contact with you and realize that, oh, you're not the salon for me, be it price or not be it price. Then we take you to your marketing toolkit where this we try and figure out where you're going to start collecting um, adverts that really work for you and, and these um, benefits and these buzzwords that you're going to collect in this toolkit of yours. They're going to be yours built around your salon. We've got, we've got ways of teaching you how to get hold of these. And what we're going to try and do with that is give you this box so you can pull it out any time you want to to attract clients because you'll know what words actually do that. You're going to have this marketing toolkit in your belt ready to go. You're going to try and build and prove and, and build some credibility out there in the big bad world. I'm going to talk about this for a few seconds now. Think about all the famous hairdressers you know worldwide. I mean, they, they, they charge a fortune. They've probably got good testimonials. They've probably won awards. You've probably gone for awards yourself. You see these people and you put them on a higher pedestal, but you don't really know their hairdressing skills or their beauty skills. We just believe what they tell us. See, there's a story out there being told by your salon at the moment. Your salon has a brand regardless or not. What that actually does is, isn't it best if you tell the story? I know I would. We're going to teach you the shortcuts, the tips, the tools of actually how to do this. How to build and prove. So in your town and in your area, you'll be known as the number one person that fixes their problem back down here. This is how we work. We've sort of done this before as we've worked through it. Step by step, this is what you guys ask for. Okay, decide what noise to make. This is our pinnacle of what we're going to do. This is what I purposely believe that we need 10 forms of marketing going non-stop to keep that snowball moving. Just starting by an inch and growing bigger and bigger and bigger through there. This is we get to choose how we want to put ourselves out to the big bad world. Do we want to be hyperactive and make lots and lots of noise or do we want to be quiet and mellow? Depends who we want to attract. This is where you get to choose what you want to do in your salon. This is the fun bit. This is where you get to build, build what's going to happen. The campaigns are going to happen each month. Awesome. Then we move on to the pre-client journey. We've talked about this pre-client journey before. We're going to get the pre-client journey is all about when you've got that noise, what do you want them to do? How are you going to filter out the people you don't want? What journey do you want them to take? Do you want them to check you out first via your website or your Facebook page? Do you want them to see your work so they don't query you on price? Um, what do you actually want them to do? We're going to set this invisible, intangible journey for your clients to go on. And that's the plan. So we can keep in touch with them. We can talk to them. The pre-client journey is beautiful. And then we're going to teach you how to target these people. Where are they? What do we need to know? How can you target them? Most of this will be on Facebook and Instagram because that's the key things at the moment. How are you going to target them? We're going to get some bonuses in there. It's going to be pretty awesome through there. Um, and then, of course, on the last week seven, we are going to launch your marketing power. You're going to set this up and go autopilot. Let it go. And then you're going to get these numbers come through. And that's what we're trying to do through there. Very, very simple. Look at this. How would you like an extra, you know, 1,000 a week, 50,000 a year in three months? That's that's where you could be quite easily. We, I was talking to a salon just today, actually, on this subject as I was building this course, which is a really good thing because it's going to be perfect for her, is that she feels she's sort of um, got a salon that's doing OK. She just took her eye off the ball and that sort of snowball stopped. And it does take a while to get that going. Once we get, we know what noise we want to make, we want to push that snowball fast or we want to push it slow, you get to decide how many clients you come in. You see me do this before about turning the tap on and turning the tap off. That's what this is all about. This is going to be your tap. What we're actually doing here is building this huge pipeline. That's what we're trying to build through here. We're trying to build you this big, huge pipeline. So it's a flow of how clients do what they do. So over here, they leave their system. They leave their, their salon. That's what they tend to do. And as they leave their salon, they, they tend to decide what do they look for when they see you? You know, so we're going to figure out they're going to look for a certain caliber of a salon. Do they want it fast? Do they want it slow? Do they want certain music? Do they want certain coffee? You're going to have to learn these things. 
Um, that's a great place to start. If you don't know where you are now, that's a great place to start. So we have a marketing a marketing toolkit, uh, like I said, that works through there. As we find the ideal client, we start collecting all this data about people. So we have it all in our arsenal, ready to go. It's going to last us a long time because we keep collecting it all the single time. What makes people tick? What makes you tick? What gets you excited? It gets your clients excited too. You know, we're going to build some credibility. We're going to make your salon stand out above everybody else's. There's all these average salons out there. You need to stand above them. How are you going to do that? We're going to teach you how to build yourself, to lift, lift you up to be the, the expert. You're good at curly hair. I expect everyone to know you're good at curly hair. If I type into Google your area and curly hair problem, I expect you to come up. That's what we're going to teach you how to get on the first page of Google for what you're known for, what you're good at. That's what you want to do. Imagine you go to the salon every day and people know that you're good. You walk to the shop. Hey, that's Richard. He's the blonde hair expert. You know, that's what we're going to try and teach you today. How to make some noise. We've got to make some noise out there. There is so many people trying to bombard us, our time and our efforts. You need to stand above them. And you've got to think closely. You can't just spend heaps of money at things. It doesn't work anymore. You have to be smarter. So what we try and do is teach you to get 10 things going. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. It just depends how quickly you want to get this going through there. The pre-client journey, which is a bit like a filter. We're going to try and take these people on a journey because we don't want all these specials. We, that's done, you know. I mean, it hasn't worked. The salons that did all these specials have gone. People don't want specials. You know, they've got a problem. Fix their problem. We're going to teach people how to go through and direct them in a certain direction before they actually call the salon. So you know, they know everything about you. So if you're booked out for three, four weeks in advance, they're going to wait because you have sort of pre-programmed to, to, to think that you're the best. They pre-programmed because they know you fix your problem. Pre-programmed because you know what words to write that actually work. And then you take my journey to prove all this to them. It's perfect. How to target people. Once we have all this, th most people teach you this. But what they don't teach you is how to actually put it all together. Here, we're going to teach you how to target people. You're going to build it all up and get yourself ready to go. And then on the last week, we're going to let that powerhouse go. And you're going to have all this going on. You know, you're going to look at your website and do your website and have it all ready to go. This is what we've created.